Hello viewers, welcome to this video. In this video, let's see how to deploy and run your Docker container in AWS Elastic Container Service. In AWS, using Elastic Container Service, uh, using the launch type EC2 instances. So in my previous video, we saw how to use Fargate to uh, create the cluster for us. So the underlying AW, uh, EC2 instances uh, for the for your cluster is all managed by AWS itself uh, using Fargate. But if you want to take uh, more control and if you want to define what type of EC2 instance and how many instances you want and if you want to take care of auto scaling yourself and where to place the uh, containers and so on, if you want to take more um, control over your cluster, you can use the EC2 launch type where you will be specifying all the details yourself. So it is a bit involved compared to the Fargate. And uh, let's see how, how it actually works. So I've logged into my AWS management console. Um, for those of you who haven't followed my previous video uh, about Fargate, please uh, watch that video. Some of the things that I might miss uh, mentioning in this video, I might have mentioned in my previous video. So these two videos are like connected. So yep. AWS Management Console and if I go to ECS so last time we clicked the get started in the start screen so it has brought up a Fargate wizard where we created the um, container definition task definition servers and the cluster so if you do that get started it's going to use uh, the Fargate but we don't want that we want to create the cluster ourselves. So the first thing to do is click on the clusters, click create cluster. So networking only. So this is uh, AWS Fargate. You don't have to worry about uh, the cluster, VPC, subnet. So everything will be done by Fargate. But for this video, we're going to be using EC2 Linux plus networking. All right. So select that one and click on next step. Give it a name. Let's call it ECS EC2 demo. Um, on demand instance, EC2 instance type, I'm going to say T2 micro, T2 um, micro, where is it? Yep, T2 micro. Number of instances, um, let's just start with one instance so that we don't go over our free tier limit. EC2 AMI ID, so it's going to use Amazon Linux 2 AMI ID, but if you prefer any other AMIs, then you can use it key pair so i've already created an uh, ssh key pair so i'm going to use that one networking create a new vpc or if you want you can use your existing vpc so let's create a new vpc so that's the CDEP block with two subnets if you want more subnets if you want to if you want more customization uh, you can add additional subnets it's going to create additional security groups and basically the security group allow everywhere, allow connections, allow traffic to port 80 from everywhere. If you want to customize it, you can customize it here. Container instance IAM role. So it will create an IAM role for us. That's it, click create. Right, so now it's creating the cluster for us using the CloudFormation stack. And once it's done, we should be able to see that it will have created a VPC and a couple of subnets for us. All right, so if we go to uh, VPC, I think it's still running. All right, so Internet Gateway, Auto Scaling Group, it's just doing the Auto Scaling Group at the moment. Um, I think we should be able to see it now. All right, so if you see here, there are two VPCs. Your VPC, so that's the VPC that it has created for us. And subnets, yep, we have two subnets here. That's done. And it has created the internet gateway, security group, route table, launch configuration, auto scaling group. Basically, you know, if you want to use auto scaling group, you need to uh, specify a launch configuration. Okay, so still it's creating the cluster. So once the cluster has been created, we will be creating a, a service and task definition. Sorry, first task definition, and then we will create a service for that. All right, our cluster is set up. If I go to clusters, so we have one cluster, zero container instances. So this time we are using EC2, not Fargate, all right? So go into that uh, cluster that we created 
and look at the tasks. So we don't have any tasks. So let's go to task definition and create our task. Create new task definition using Fargate or EC2. So we are going to use EC2. Next step, task definition name, let's call it ECS task. Compatibility is EC2 because we have chosen EC2. Task role, don't worry about that. Optional IAM role, otherwise it will create a role for us. Network mode, let's leave that as default. Task memory, so how much memory we want for each of the container instances. Let's say we want um, five, 50 meg, 50 MB should be. We are just running an Nginx container. And uh, task CPU, let's say we want 0.25 virtual CPU. We don't want a whole CPU, that's more than enough. Okay, so, and now let's add the container definition. Add container, container name, let's call it Nginx. Image is Nginx colon latest. Let's set a soft limit of um, 50 meg. And then port mapping, we are going to add port 80 on the container port will be mapped to port 80 on the host port. And if you want, you can set up these additional options, which I'm not going to set. All right, click add. So that's our container. And do we have, I'm going to leave everything as default, uh, click create. All right, so our task definitions is created. So now we're going to create a service, create service. Launch type is EC2, cluster. So we have just one cluster. So select that cluster, service name, EC, yes, service. Service type replica or daemon. So depending on the number of EC2 instances you've got, either you can deploy it as a set number of replicas or as a daemon set if you if you are watching my Kubernetes series. So daemon set is something that if you set that as a daemon set, it will deploy a container on each of the EC2 instances that you have got in your cluster. Or if you specify as replica, you can tell the number of replicas that you want. So in the tasks here, number of tasks, you can say how many replicas you want. So I'm gonna go with one replica. All right, deployment type, so rolling update, if you are a uh, updating your deployment, updating your um, task, then how do you want to take care of the uh, deployment? Rolling update or blue-green deployment? So let's leave that as a rolling deployment. Task placement, let's leave that as a balanced spread. Next step. All right, so do we need to create a load balancer? Because we have done if you want, you can create application load balancer, but I'm not going to do that because I'm just running one replica so I can directly uh, look at uh, the EC2 instance, connect to the EC2 instance. But if you want, you can configure any of these load balancers. All right, so let's leave everything else default. Next step, do not adjust auto scaling group. I'm not worried about the auto scaling group, so I'm not going to enable that review and click create service all right service created that's cool view service let's go back to the cluster all right so we have our ecs cluster with the launch type ec2 with one service and one container instance and it's pending so soon it will change to uh, running tasks it's deploying the container at the moment if I go into the cluster, you can see, so that's my uh, cluster. What it's actually doing at the moment is it's uh, provisioning the EC2 instance for us. So if I go to my EC2 dashboard and you will see one running instance, uh, we don't have any load balances. It has created two additional security groups for us. So those are the two security group and if I look at the instances, yep, so that's the easiest instance that uh, it has provisioned for us. All right, so that's our service task. So we have one task, one replica that is running at the moment. ECS instance, yep, so that's our ECS instance. So if you remember from my previous video, uh, we were not able to see the ECS, sorry, EC2 instance 
uh, when we were using the Fargate because the EC2 instances are all managed by Fargate, by AWS. So we won't be seeing those uh, instances here. All right, so how do we access the application now? So for that, I'm going to go to the, uh, because I haven't exposed it using load balancer, um, I'm going to access through the public DNS name of the EC2 instance the container is running because we have mapped the container port 80 to the uh, uh, instance port. So if I copy that and go to that address, yep, welcome to Nginx. So that's our Nginx welcome page that's running fine. All right, cool. So that's it. Let's start uh, cleaning up all the resources that we deployed for that. Um, go to tasks, stop all, and then type stop all. All right, so those were stopped. Click delete cluster, delete me. It's going to take a few minutes to delete the VPC, subnet, security groups, and so on. And then we will take a look at uh, the roles that it has created and delete the roles, and then we are done. I'm gonna pause the video and come back in a few minutes time. All right, so the cluster has been deleted. Let's see what's left. Task definitions, yep, so we have one task that's still there and click on that task, select that task and then click deregister. Yep, deregister, the task is gone. So we don't have any clusters, we don't have any task definitions. And if we go to uh, EC2 dashboard, no instances, uh, all the security groups have been deleted volumes deleted and let's take a look at our vpc our vpc so we are back to one vpc and the default three subnets so we don't have those subnets all right so the last bit remaining is go to iam service we will delete the two roles that uh, it has created for us ecs instance role and aws service role for ecs delete role yes delete all right, cool. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please follow this. And if you've got any questions or any issues or if something is not working right for you or even if I'm doing something wrong, uh, please let me know. I'm learning as you are learning. I'm not an expert in AWS. All right, so if you find at any point in time, if you find me doing something weird, uh, just point that out in the comment section. I will try to correct it and I will see you all in my next video. But don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all. Bye-bye.